Hey guys, so today we are back with another video. So today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, training psychology and how to actually train your brain uh, to execute your trades flawlessly. Okay, if you are a new trader or you know you're still struggling, you probably realize the importance of uh, trading psychology, right? Um, actually, trading psychology is 80% of successful trading. Okay, 80% of your success as a trader is dependent on your trading psychology, okay? You can have the best, you know, um, trading strategy, you can have the best signals, right? The best tips, everything, best knowledge. But if you cannot execute, right? You cannot flawlessly execute your trading plan, you cannot manage your risk, then uh, the rest doesn't matter. So today's video, I want to give you some insights on how you can actually train uh, that brain of yours to, you know, sort of uh, execute properly. Okay, so before I start, I want to say that um, the human brain is it's designed to uh, want to avoid loss. That's normal. Okay, um, I didn't come to you know where I am currently, you know the ability to accept loss and keep executing. Right, I didn't just you know um, come to this naturally. Right, it took a lot of deliberate uh, effort. Right, I needed to train my brain. I needed to rewire my brain uh, to think in a certain way in order to execute uh, my trades. Uh, without hesitation, okay? So that's the purpose of today's video. I want to train you, I want to teach you some tricks, okay? Some tips on how you can train that brain of yours because it's not something that comes naturally. It's something that you need to practice. You need to sort of um, cycle yourself every day. Keep looking at um, this uh, calculator if you need to, right? I'll explain how to use this calculator. You need to keep convincing yourself to focus on a bigger picture. You need to... Uh, Build that belief in yourself that um, you do not need to win 100% of the time, right? You just need to execute and you just need to have a winning strategy, okay? So let's get into uh, today's video. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is say, the expectancy calculator, okay? So what is this expectancy calculator? Now, the expectancy calculator is actually just uh, calculating what whether you have an edge in the market or not. Okay, and if you do have an edge in the market, how much can you expect to make per trade that you take? Okay, so it's that simple. Okay, so right now we are on uh, the tradesociety.com website. Okay, uh, they have a expectancy calculator. Okay, this is not the only website that has uh, this calculator. Uh, the only reason I'm using this website is because uh, they have a very simple to use interface. Okay, uh, you can just simply Google the uh, uh, the formula, if you if you want yourself, you know, put it in your Excel spreadsheet and play with it. Okay, it's not difficult to find. So I do not want to go into uh, details that you know you can easily find online. Okay, so just a brief walkthrough of this. Okay, and then after that, I'll show you how to train your mind. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to put in your account size. Okay, for the sake of uh, this video, I'm going to assume that you're trading a thousand dollars account size. Just keep it simple, and let's say your win rate is uh, fifty percent. Okay, your average reward is uh, 2 and your position size, okay, your position size means how much you are risking per trade. So if you are risking 1%, that means per trade, uh, you are risking 1% 1 of 1,000, which is $10. So if you are wrong, you will lose $10, okay? And your average reward to risk is 1 is to 2. That means on average, if you are right and you risk 1%, that means you should expect to make 2%, right? $20, okay? 2% of 1,000 is $20, okay? So just press the enter button and you can see over here that, uh, uh, let me just, okay, you can see the expectancy in percent and the percent, the expectancy in dollars, okay? I just want you to focus on the expectancy in dollars, $5, okay? So what does $5 mean? This means that if you trade this account at this rate, Okay, at your you know win rate of fifty percent with your average reward to risk of two and a position size of one, every trade you should expect to make five dollars. Okay, it's very straightforward. Okay, so you might wonder you know like um you know my win rate varies, my average uh, reward to risk varies. That's true, right? That's true. And also, as your account grows, your uh, position size will uh will increase, right? Because if you have, uh, let's say your account from 1,000 to 1,500, uh, your position size will increase because 1% of 1,005 will be a bigger position size, okay? But 
I just want you to use this as a form of reference, right? As a reference to train your brain. Okay, you don't need to be too, you know, accurate in it. You just need a, uh, you just need kind of like a ballpark figure of your results currently. Okay, so this means that every trade that you take, you should expect to make five dollars. Okay, so this is the kind of mindset that you need to have when you're executing a trade. You just need to say that okay, if I execute this trade, I'm, I just make five dollars. Okay, the results, win or lose, it doesn't matter because if I stick to this system, I just made five dollars. Okay, that's the correct way to think of it. The wrong way to think of it would be to is this trade a winner? Oh, this trade is a winner means my strategy is working. Oh, if my this trade is a loser means this signal provider or this strategy is not working and then you hop onto the next uh, system or the next signal provider, okay? That's the wrong way of doing it. Do not do it that way, okay? If you do it that way, you're not giving yourself a, you know, a statistical, statistical significant size to make a reasonable conclusion, okay? Means you are actually just wasting your money because you are not getting any data. You want data, Right, as I'll show you later, you want to have the data to uh, make a decision about whether you have a trading expectancy. And if you do have the trading expectancy, then you just want to just focus on this $5 every day. Okay, I'm going to take one trade. Here's $5. Okay, I'm going to take another trade. I'm going to make another $5. So that's how you train your brain. Okay, do not look at the, the immediate outcome, but to look at the big picture by understanding your values, by understanding your data. Okay. So now you might ask, okay, this sounds of you know awesome in theory, right? I, I can definitely do that. I just use this calculator, but um, I do not know how to uh, you know get this data, right? Because uh, you you don't really know your win rate, you don't know your reward to risk, okay? So what you need to do is you need to have a uh, trading journal. That's why I always stress the importance of a trading journal, okay? If you are in our Telegram group, you know that we uh, update our trading results every single week okay there's never been a single week that we miss this okay every single week we record and every single trade we document it down okay because this is how you collect data right of course in this uh, simplified version i just have the entry the stop loss and the results okay i do not uh, i do not want to show right in uh i don't want to make it complicated in my telegram channel to show all the calculations but uh on the Saturday, on over the weekends, right, we look at uh, all this kind of stuff, right? You have the win rate over here, actually. Just a moment. You have the win rate here, okay? So actually, for this week, 4th to 8th May, we're having a killer week so far. You can see that uh, we have just one loss and uh, eight winners, and we generated 295 picks in profit with a win rate of 88.89%, okay? So that's an uh, amazing result we're having so far for this week. Okay, so we basically, we just in, input this value and we put it here, right? It's straightforward. The av average risk to reward, uh, you can just do a you know, Excel formula to calculate how much you're risking for this trade and what's the result and you calculate the uh, actual risk to reward. That's how you do it. But you need to collect this data so that you can make a good uh, decision of, uh, you know, make a decision whether you have a good trading strategy, okay? If you are new, right, to our channel or you're new to trading and you need a, a trading strategy that is proven to work, then please download a copy of our day trading guide. Okay, I'll leave a link in the description. It's free. Download that. That should get you started and help you to find, you know, an edge in the market, right? So what you want to do is you want to uh, take maybe 20 trades, 30 trades to get a um, kind of like some data about uh, your percentage, your average win, your average losses. Then you put it into uh, here, okay? You put your account size, you put the win rate, okay? You put your average reward to risk, okay? So this one over here, account size, it depends on how much money you have, okay? Win rate comes from your uh, trading strategy. Your average reward to risk also comes from your trading strategy. But this position size is something that you need to determine beforehand, right? Even before you execute a trade, you need to determine how much you want to risk. Okay, if you do not know how to adopt a adaptive position sizing based on your stop loss, right? Meaning that if you have a bigger stop loss, you take a smaller position, and if you have a tighter stop loss, you take a bigger position. Then make sure you watch my other video on how to calculate the uh, lot size. Okay, I even have a free indicator on uh, how to calculate the lot size uh, in that video. Okay, so just check it out, it's in one of our YouTube videos. Just check that out. Okay, so now the last thing before uh, I end off is. You must understand that uh, in order to get a good reward to risk ratio, 
right? You must be excellent at managing risk, okay? So if you have a smaller stop loss, right, a tighter stop loss will likely give you a higher reward to risk, right? Because if let's say you are risking 15 pips to make 60 pips, that's a one is to four uh, risk to reward ratio, okay? But if you are risking 60 pips to make 60 pips, then you only make, uh, you're only making one time, meaning that if you risk $100, you only make $100, okay? So the risk to reward ratio will make or break your trading system and it's something that you want to uh, be very careful about. You want to keep your eye on, right, by uh, doing your own calculations, okay? So just make sure that uh, you, you, you diligently record your trades, okay? You can see over here that uh, trading is really not easy. Okay, it takes a lot of experience. It takes a lot of you know fine tuning, right? You need to find out what works for you. Okay, you need to uh, slowly tweak it, right? And also based on this calculator, you can also tell what is your problem. If you find that your win rate is a bit low, and uh, you know, let's say your win rate is forty percent and your average risk to reward is one is to one point five, then you also can tell that uh, you do not have expectance positive expectancy. That means for each trade that you are taking, you are losing money. Right, so in, you can use this uh, calculator in the aspect also. Right, it can give you a good feedback about whether uh, your current trading strategy is working or not. Okay, so this is the power of uh, understanding expectancy and using this calculator. Okay, so to access this calculator, um, just go to a uh, trade site t r a d e c i e t y dot com, and then you look for uh, this expectancy calculator. Okay, so that's it for this video. If any questions, just leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to address it. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.